<laughs> okay. Here we are, folks. Let's get rid of that screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go away, go away, go away. So here we are, uh, trucking. And I have added my uh, Bob, brain, sorry, my Rainbow Ross. <laughs> For my folks. So here we go with Rainbow Ross. And uh, I'm back from Toronto. Back from my uh, week, the birthday week. Just a sec, I have to get some more, more of these screens up there. That has to go there. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Steph. I thought you'd like my rainbow. I had it on the train, just in case people were dressing up the train, but it was pretty quiet. There was like, I don't know, 60 seats or whatever in the car, and there was maybe 10 or 15 of us. I don't know. It was pretty quiet. But still had still had a good time. <laughs> so I had my wig, just in case. You never know. So I'm finishing, uh, or I'm doing, uh, I, apparently I was following the, uh, I decided, sorry, I decided just before I left to start doing this Germany thing, and I did three jobs on it, I think, and I've been following it, and they've they've cut back, they, I think they haven't had enough people doing it as they had hoped for, probably because they did it just after Oregon, everybody was busy driving an ATS, so, um, I'll be driving here, but I still have my Halloween truck, right? My big pumpkin with the uh, Christmas and Halloween bling. Little thing on the uh, steering wheel. So I'm doing a uh, cargo from Praha to Germany, which is Praha, Prague in Czechoslovakia. So uh, I have to go pick it up, that up. I haven't driven for. Have a driven for I'll have to get back into the saddle again here. Uh, where the hell am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going out here. Uh, let me uh, change my. <clears throat> we don't really need the big lights on, and we don't really need th that map. So we're going to pick up cargo. I don't think it's a fairly heavy or exciting cargo, but. I'll do these. I'll do these and get them going. Rokla? No, we're not going to Rokla. We're in Praha. Got to use these names. Got a note from my landlord that they had adjusted the heat and they were hoping it was better. And I, I got, came in today and I'm thinking... <sighs> Actually, it's a little warm. It was almost 24. Used to be 20, 21. A little bit less would be good. So. But yeah, I was down and I, I found a few different videos, so I thought I'd throw something out for the Halloween theme just to make it spooky. <laughs> I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that for different... Uh, I'll do themes. I'll do different themes, like Halloween or... Um, I could do a fireplace. There's a really good fireplace video I like on YouTube. It goes I think it goes at least an hour. It goes a couple of hours and it's not one of these fireplace loops. It's a continual fire. And every once in a while this guy's arm comes in and he puts a log on or puts another log there or you know, moves some stuff around and stuff and you can you know, bitch and complain. No, no, don't put it there. You idiot, that's not going to catch. And stuff like this, but... It's kind of nice. I uh, tend to play it every Christmas on my TV. Have people over, light a fire. Well... I guess you could do the same back in... Uh, sunny and hot Sydney. Definitely don't want a fireplace.
my girlfriend has a fireplace, but she can only, um, it's an old house, so she can only do, burn those fake logs in it. Black Friday. Uh, when's Black Friday? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's in November, because that's, that's, uh, yes, that's American, um, that's a good point. That's the American uh, Thanksgiving. I could have a slideshow of, um, oh yeah, I'm sure you could find a slideshow of images of that. I'm not sure what I'd do for music. Um, maybe that Benny Hill music. Oh, thanks, Steph. 28.6. Jeez, my gracious. Winds from the north at 27K. Humidity is 48. Although it's, uh, what time is it? It's um, 2 in the afternoon, isn't it? One PM. Thirteen hours in. We change our um, we change our clocks this weekend too. I think. Well, we don't change them into anything else. Yeah, we change our clocks this weekend into uh, mac and cheese casseroles. It's a tradition. We change them. Uh, fall back. We fall back. Spring ahead. Fall back. So the clocks all go back at midnight. So do yours, do yours change too, or? Do you do daylight savings, undaylight savings? Such a stupid thing, anyways. Come on, come on, come on, let me over you, bugger. Um, I guess, um, uh, unless, unless you change your clocks in, um, Australia, in Sydney. Ah, jeez. There I am, looking at the stream, not looking at the road, or the... So you don't do daylight savings, okay, yeah. Oops, 30, okay. In here? Possibly. Scout cars. Oh, you changed the back already. Yeah, we used to change earlier here, I thought, but... Oh, well. Well, that's kind of cool. I get one of those. I get a lazy trucker's truck. It's a little one, too. My son did um, Halloween projections. You put a um, a uh, um, semi-transparent cloth over a window and then you run these spooky videos of skeletons and faces and stuff from a laptop through a projector and project it on the on the on on whatever it is I guess like a sheet maybe or they're thinner and it makes these scary images on the windows and it's pretty effective it's pretty effective so that was his Halloween thing now where are we going? Make sure we're in the right place or else we'll have to just abandon this stupid cargo. We're going to Nuremberg. Empty barrels, nine tons. Okay. Hey, well, it's a World of Trucks cargo. So this will be number four. We have to do ten. 
Um, a lot of people are having trouble with this world of trucks thing, and I've tried to try to I've tried to leave hints wherever I can to be, for people, because it was ten different countries. So if you started in Germany and took a cargo to Belgium and then picked up another cargo and went back to Germany, I only counted as one. You'd only gone to Belgium, even though you did two things. So what you had to do is you had to pick a cargo from Germany to Belgium and then either, um, you know, bobtail an empty truck over to somewhere else or just do a go-to like I did. I did a go-to to another country and then pick up a cargo there and then go back to Germany and then Germany to Poland and then do a go-to to Czechoslovakia and then a cargo from Czechoslovakia back to Germany. So greetings, Ohio. Greetings from um, Halloween here. You know, I tried to find a red nose just before anybody asks. Um, this is all at the Dollarama, the dollar store. And uh, they had the Rainbow Ross wig, but they did not have um, they did not have those red noses that stick on or go a little elastic and stuff for Bozo with the Clown, so sorry. So welcome KJ. Been off for a week. Down in Toronto, it's my girlfriend's uh, birthday week. She had a um, couple of friends in from high school days out west, which meant which meant that she and her friends we'd all spend get together, but she and her friends would spend the whole time talking about all the great times in high school and and their families and stuff like that. So I just sit there quietly. So. Oh, it was okay. Um, it dropped. Yes, from 50 million to 10 to 15 million. Yeah, because... Oh, just a sec. I have to change my screen here because I... Oops. Because I don't have... Um, can't quite read my... Sorry, I couldn't quite read my comments there. Yes, from 50 to 15 million. Yeah. Now my uh, my concern was hopefully they don't cancel the event or like terminate. I don't want them to terminate the event before I finish my uh, my cargos. But I think their problem was I was saying to staff I think their problem was they um, they overestimated the enthusiasm based on what had happened with the um, ATS one where everybody was taking loads up to the. To fix the um, Big Sur or whatever the on the on the coast of California, taking loads back and forth where the slide was, and not as many people are going on this. And the rewards, maybe the people aren't keen on the rewards, and a lot of people are keen on doing the Oregon ATS, so. What you do, what you can do, is you can explore the top half of Germany, which is a little better than it used to be, but it's not as different as. Whoa, we've added Oregon. So. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was well, I was a trans, but but I mean, it was you know, it was her and all her friends, and I was like. Yeah, uh, whatever, you know. You know, remember Mr. McFeely? Yeah, yeah, why? And what have you been doing? And stuff like this. So it was okay, but... They're all talkers, too, not listeners. So, uh... They see whatever uh, topic you bring up as a segue into whatever they want to talk about, so... Not that I'm bitter, no, but... We went to, uh, we went on a tour of CBC. Um, CBC Radio is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. The, oops. State-owned, government-owned um, TV and radio. 
and a uh, friend of a friend um, knew one of the guys there so he gave us a behind the scenes tour which included going to one of the um, start of one of the sh radio shows like standing in the control room and watching them do the show and I had my I had this I had my CBC logo shirt on that I'd bought a month ago and one of the guys that was on the show had his on so he presses a mute his mute talks in the control room a nice shirt man so that was pretty cool and we got to see Anthropocene Anthropocene which is talking about the Anthropocene era the new geological era that we are in possibly and uh, there was a show at the art gallery done by uh, Edward Bertinsky and some various filmmakers a really good show huge he does prints he does photos of industrial landscapes and mines and quarries and stuff like this and the prints are like you know six by eight foot on the wall pretty cool stuff so we had some fun stuff so we did that I met my brother I met my brother and his buddy for several beer and some lunch a guy he went to high school with back in high school he was uh, John was a short guy so they uh, you know one of the shorter guys of the gang so they called him little Johnny McNamara well little Johnny McNamara is like 65 now and they still call him little Johnny McNamara <laughs> but uh, that was cool my brother is a corporate lawyer a life dedicated to working or being available 724 and he is retiring and I have no idea what he's gonna do neither does he hopefully it doesn't involve anything bad because I've heard of people who crash after they retire with nothing to do so yeah well no he doesn't do um, he's not big on computers he does email and that's it you know he was he was high enough in the corporate logo that he, he had email on his blackberry 724 but uh, even typing he had people to do his typing right so I told him he really likes to cook he's a really good cook has a very fancy kitchen I said you should start a cooking show uh, get on twitch start streaming uh, your cooking because he's good and he'd be very he's funny too he'd be very good and his, his his wife could film it shit look trains so I'll see we'll see he's uh, he's he's uh, got a whirlwind tour for um, he's a new guy hired to take his place so he's got to take the new guy to their mines. They got one mine which is um, uh, you'll know this location. He's got they've got a nickel mine in New Caledonia, Steph. So he's got to fly to I think Perth, then to New Caledonia. Um, and and when they fly, they fly um, first class of course it's a big corporation possibly the first class that has beds you know that has beds in it so they just sleep yeah exactly and and first class first first class like the you know like the really nice like a little stateroom and they've got another trip that's going to um 
Norway. They got a mine in Norway, so there's a, he's got to take him to Norway. Uh, so he's doing this n now. But, um, I think I think uh, New Caledonia is first, and then Norway, and then uh, the last one they have to do is up in the Northwest Territories, way way north. I forget where it is. You know, up where they build the perm. They have to build the buildings are up on stilts to keep them above the permafrost, so they don't melt the permafrost. And he's. Uh, they asked the guy, when's a good time to go up? And the guy said, oh, January is good. <laughs> We're like, oh, yeah. January up above the Arctic Circle. The reason January is, a good, is good because there's not a lot of uh, cargo coming in in January, so it's more convenient with the local people if, to reconfigure the plane for uh, passengers and cargo. They don't really care if it's cold or not. <laughs> yeah, you're from Toronto. Shut up and buy a coat, so... But other than that, then he's going to be doing nothing. So. He checks his email. He checks his email like other people would check face-to-face, -face, really. Or, so. I'm going to have to make sure that every couple of days that I uh, email my brother just to, uh, you know, hi, here's what I'm doing, hey, what are you doing, sort of thing. His wife retired several years ago from being a um, air hostess. I, f air ho I forget what they're called. Air attendant person thing. Anyways, um, and she was way up there with Air Canada doing international flights. Um, and she retired and she's been volunteering at a local... Um, there's a local place um, called the Brickworks was sort of an environmentally friendly place near uh, near the Don Don River in Toronto where they they do environmental courses they have gardens and they have schools come in for tours and, of the area and stuff and you know all them hippie things so she's been doing that for a few years she she loves it He's not very mobile. He's got uh, he's really overweight and he's got really bad knees and ankles. So he's limited, but yeah, he certainly could um, he certainly could hobble around his kitchen and charm everybody as he cooked. Oh. I'll tell him. Geez, if your older brother is he's what's Steve now? Steve is maybe like he's mid sixties, I guess. So I'll say, if, if your older brother could figure out how to stream, well, geez, you could do it. Well, no, he actually couldn't. He always had, he had people to figure this out for him, but I can help him. Oh. He's retired on a generous pension, and he's got all sorts of stock options, so he's probably going to still be making his original, you know, his, his salary, which is, I don't know, 200,000 a year or whatever the hell it was. So, he's not going to be broke. And he's got a bag of money that he's invested. And like me, he's arguing with this financial advisor. No, no, I want to spend this. I don't want you to make more money for me. You're a financial advisor and your thing is to make more money. I'm a customer. My thing is to spend money. So he's already told... Uh, my brother already told his other sibs that he intends to spend it all and not leave anything to anybody. And I think some of them were a little surprised. They were kind of counting maybe on maybe a nest egg from the rich the rich uh, sibling. No. <laughs> so. Anyways, welcome to my stream. I have to do this little thing to remind myself to say welcome to my stream. Oops. And there's something happening here. Yeah, we're going slow. That's what's happening. Thanks for following. Um, well, thanks for viewing and chatting and or lurking. And if you're a follower, thanks for following. If you want to subscribe, that's cool. You can use your Amazon Prime and um, you'll get the satisfaction of supporting a poor little old man in his little garret here. Plus, you get a little emoticon 
like a, of a raven. Plus, I'll email you. Um, I'll send you an EPUB of one of my books. Or you can throw bits in the jar. Bits are good too. But yeah, I thought I'd do a Halloween uh, theme here. My truck is a little blinged out with Christmas and Halloween, but. Now, I should have stolen another beer. I had an extra beer in the fridge of my girlfriend's that I hadn't drunk. Drunken. I'm not going to see it till January, unless she brings it up. She comes up in November. We do odd. We odd. We're odd, Tom. Um, alternate months so it's her turn to come up in November but then she's coming up for Christmas mid-December before my my kids go away and before she goes away to BC so oh doing a countdown three two and a one there's a train. Oh, and it's gone. Uh, I learned that you really have to wait till the gate is completely up. Otherwise, it's a uh, shock as your forehead uh, meets the windshield. Well, my girlfriend and her friend went out with uh, her brother to, uh, they went for dinner and then he went out to check out Halloween um, downtown in a bunch of bars. Now her brother is gay and lives near the sort of gay community down in Toronto so he was going to take her out so it was, it was going to be definitely, definitely decorative. I asked him if they went dressed as cougars, but uh, he uh, yeah, he said, no, you'll have to ask them. You know, as in two older women at a bar. Why is the 60 here? What's our problem? Where are we? Where are we? So I'm back. I've got to. Uh, well, I got to get some groceries tomorrow. I possibly. You know, I got to go in the garage and get an appointment for snow tires. I'm not desperate. We did have snow last weekend, so got to get the winter the winter tires on. Uh, most of us in Canada put on winter tires since they have um, better tread and a softer rubber that grips better on ice and the when it's cold out. So, gotta get that done, and leaves are falling. It's, uh, you know, the pretty time of the year in Canada where all the leaves uh, turn orange and red. Quite decorative, but they still have to be uh, raked up and stuffed in bags. Ohio, is it, um, I guess in Ohio you do. You know, you're going to have to do the same thing there. Right, to get people, I like that. There's a couple of uh, convoys this weekend, I think. Ah, no, no, yeah, Upper Michigan is, well, Upper Michigan is like, um, yeah, like Southern Ontario, or, sorry, it's like, yeah, it's like the Ontario side, it's, uh, it's nice, it's nice, so. Uh, 
It's pretty. It's nice to have seasons. I don't know. I'd hate to live somewhere where it was always one season. Oh, where's my mirrors? I don't have mirrors here. There they are. Because it's dark out. Jeez, my gracious, it's dark. It's the problems with the world of trucks. You can't really change it. Oh, I guess I could change the time, can't I? I only got two hours to go. Not really worth it. We'll wait till we get our next uh, cargo. We'll drop this off. We'll move the time up, and then we'll get a cargo. Um, got to go from... So we'll be in... Where are we going? Cucamonga? Nuremberg. So we'll wait till we get to Nuremberg, and then we'll pick a cargo out of Nuremberg that's not going to uh, Belgium or Netherlands or... Uh, Poland or Czechoslovakia. Because you got to go to 10, right? Oh. Went out to a sports bar uh, yesterday um, near my girlfriend's place that I've gone to before, the Dizzy. It's nice in the. In the you know, in the afternoon, it's not that sportsy. It's nice. So I was chit-chatting with the um, server behind the bar, Krista. Not not flirting at all. Um, it turns out she she used to live in Ottawa, and she worked at a gallery. About ten years ago, she worked at a, an art gallery, which is like a block from me, just up the street. So it was like small. Small world. Um, um, I think this is my fourth, so I have to do six more. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh no! Wait a minute. So I went. I went from here to um, Germany to Netherlands, and then jumped over to Belgium. Belgium to Germany. And then Germany to Poland and jumped over to Czechoslovakia, Czechoslovakia, down back to Germany. That's four. So I got to, yeah, I got to do six more. So. I mean, it's okay, but. I think the other problem is a world of for the reason the other reason they didn't get a lot as much take as they wanted on this is I don't think uh, World of Trucks uh, supports owned uh, owned uh, trailers, so a lot of people have bought trailers and they want to use them, and World of Trucks doesn't support them, so that's dumb. I got a little bit more motor <laughs> trying to scratch my head and I can't get a wig on. I was I forgot I had it on. I was going to I'm getting a little more motivated in writing my um, um my girlfriend found a book from written in or published in nineteen ninety eight, Neil Gaiman, short stories and illusions or something. It's a collection of his short stories from way back then. I like Neil Gaiman. He does he did Coraline. He does um a lot of good mostly fantasy type stories. Good writing. This is a collection of his short stories, and there's a long introduction where he has like a, you know, a chunk, like like a third of a page, where he talks about each story. Just why he wrote it, how he wrote it, you know, it's really cool. So, good insight into the mind of a writer and how they think about their, you know, where the stories come from. So he's getting me uh, keen on starting to either write or edit again.
Because I could be a gamer and a writer, right? Um, I can also do a bio break. Um, so, we're only an hour away, but I can't wait, so I'll just stop right in the middle of the road here. Nobody will care. And uh, we're going to do a, a break. No, I'm not going to do the uh, video, a scary video. I'll just do a break. So, I'll be back. Well, I'll just do my regular I'll be back thing. Uh, where the hell is it? Well, this one. Sorry, and I was well, I'll break and grab a snack and um, check my messenger. My daughter sent me a picture of her two little kids. So always cute at the Halloween. Um, how little kids dress up in Canada. Well, it was rainy-ish today, uh, but the big thing in Canada, especially if it's up north, is um, your costume has to be something that will fit over a snowsuit. So, you know, your daughter may want to go out as a little ballerina, but pff, it's snowing. You know, unless she can wear her tutu over her snowsuit.
this is a pop this is a oh I guess not sure who has the right of way here I think the guy who goes has the right of way but couldn't see the sign I grew up in the days when you would, you know, get caramel apples, apples from the little old lady down the street because she always did that. Nobody even thought to check them. No, they were good, so. Oh, well. So, we're doing this delivery, but after we do this delivery, I think I, I should have done this before. When I, after I do this delivery, I'm going to change the clocks to be... 6 a.m. so we can see where we're going because this is freaking boring. Nice to have the lights, you know. There we go. Nice to have our little Christmas lights inside. Oh, the wobbly tree. Little guy, little bobble-headed uh, jack-o'-lantern on the dash. Yeah, they're all nice. All well and good, but... We want to see the countryside, you know, the cows and stuff, so. So what's the time? Well, I'll drive for a while. We had a good selection of uh, drinks on the uh, train, of course. They included with your expensive ticket is drinks and food, so we had... had a rum and orange juice, a double, of course. And then they came over around later, had a glass of white wine, then they brought uh, little hot towels to wipe your hands and face with, and then they brought choice of dinner. I had little pasta, little pasta things with spinach in them, and a nice little salad. Uh, very good, very good. And of course more wine, and then they come around after, and you can have... Uh, no, triple sec, some liqueurs and stuff, brandy. So pretty well lubricated by the time we wander off off the train. I should have my flask with me though, and then I could ask for coffee and then put a shot in my con of uh, whiskey or something. going to acres no we're not going to acres we're going right through see I don't like this it's like this or that it's really freaking bright possibly it's really freaking bright because I got really freaking bright li lights but But we'll see what we can get from Nuremberg. That is 300k or more, and then is and is to a country that I haven't been to. I guess it's going to take me to. I'm probably going to have to go to Italy. Pulling over, buddy. Sorry, but I'm pulling over. Just guessing from where I am, um, you know, southerly on the map. The only thing, only choices I have actually are south of Germany are, um, you know, going to be Italy. That's okay. Like I said, I'll change the map for you guys. So I'll change the time so you can see daylight. Possibly in here. Yeah. Possibly in here. Press the following key. What do I get? P points. I got points. I don't really care. See what I mean? I'm, you know, I'm level 82, 49.
Okay. So, here we are. Uh, so, before I do anything, Mel, uh, Mel, we're going to change the timer. We're going go, to go. Remember, I can do that. We're going to do this. You set time six. What six get me? That's brightish out. Getting bright. Yeah, okay. So, what do you got for a world of truck? cargoes so to Germany so we're gonna do Germany to where easy root length 300 so gotta be something that's not going to Germany so let's scroll through until we don't see Germany in the map anymore Well, that's great. Everything's going to Germany. Dang. Italy. Uh, see, we want, we want something to Austria. We don't really want to go that far. That's weird. That's weird. I'm sorry, we're... Poland, 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 Italy. Because we could do, uh, we've done Poland and Czech. We do Austria, Switzerland. We could do Hungary. We could do France. We could do France just by going like this. we go. It's uh, once again, 6 in the morning. It's just the next day. So, let's see what we have. Can't be worse. Unless they've, unless they've uh, gamed it so that we don't uh, we don't go far. Geez, they might have, eh? Look at this. Them buggers. Let's go to Parma. That's it. The next one. You know, let's do another day. So let's um do nighttime. Oops, sorry. We did the wrong thing. Do the evening, and then we'll do See what our choices are. We may be they may have stacked the game really so that you can't pick nice trips. They have. I wonder if that's what they do. I wonder if it doesn't matter what time it is. Let's go to uh, Stuttgart. Sorry, I just, I just don't want to... I don't want to do like, a huge trip. We are in St Stuttgart. Oops, sorry, I'm going to really mean to be on the ground at Stuttgart. My bad. What do 
we have for the job market from Stuttgart. See? France. It's not 300, but... Switzerland? Still not 300. Into Luxembourg. France. Oh, for Dang, you know. What if we go to Leipzig? L E I P. Or to Dort. One last try, and we'll go to Dortmund and we'll see what we get there. So we have the job market. <laughs> well, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get screwed again. We're gonna go to Calais. We're gonna have to go um, six hundred kilometers. Where there's nothing that's three hundred kilometers. Why are they doing this? Why are they, um, maybe that's why people aren't com comparing, maybe they, maybe they have actually gamed the system, so it's pretty hard to find just a 300k job. And people are noticing and saying, well, I'm not going to play. Okay, so this is our last turn. We're going to take whatever we have here. I mean, people are getting tired of looking at my uh, beautiful hair. Okay, castle. Castle to something not in Germany. Like... Denmark, 721 miles. Or, if we go to Denmark, then we can get Denmark back to Germany, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's go there. Who cares? I don't really care anymore. That's twice as far as we wanted to go, but okay. That's 10 hours, that's, uh, that's going to be half an hour driving, so we're okay. Used car batteries. Oh, how heavy was that? I guess we'll find out once we uh, once we load it up, eh? That was a heavy sucker. Oh, we uh, beat the light. Oh, you finished the tenor of the weekend? Good, good. I mean, I just got back from Toronto tonight, so... I did a few before I went away, but... The batteries, I think batteries are like 25, 30 tons. Not nothing, but they're okay.
Oh, 17 tons. Used car battery. Oh, gas would be nice too, I guess, eh? Yeah. So the uh, one of the um, Aussie Aussie custom ro custom Aussie mods, whatever that I follow, he's uh, finished his logging trailer and it's really nice. For Oregon, of course. Um, let me see what happened. Oh, that may have been the mirror I didn't have, and I couldn't see what was happening in the trailer. Did I whack it? No. Okay. Um, need a snack. I need a granola bar. So, don't go away. I'll be right back.
Thank you. Uh, so it's 20... Yeah, this trip is going to be 20 times 3... an hour to finish this trip. Hey, 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 let me out here. And they did. That's five trips. Um, and I'll do a bunch tomorrow, I guess. Because uh, this one's an hour, so it's 11, uh, 12. I could drive till 12. I don't know. I've been getting getting to bed by 12-ish, 12-ish in Toronto. I get up at 9, so, you know, 9-ish. Get to go sleep. My girlfriend gets up at 11 or 12, so I get up and I do some my coffee, have some cereal, fire off the computer, do some Facebook, do some, I'm looking at Ancestry uh, family tree stuff, so I do some of that stuff. Send some notes back and forth, read a bit. Yeah, it's nice and restful. Oh! Okay. Grab your lunch, Steph. disco lights there, eh? Yeah, so I might drive till, well, maybe I'll drive till 11.30. That'd be cool. I gotta get out of the habit of staying up driving till, you know, gaming till 2 in the morning. Or gaming till midnight and then watching videos till 2 in the morning. That damn Netflix, I don't know. If there's any Netflix fans in here, it's dangerous. You just get going on a series, and they're like, oh, look, this one started, this one started. House of Cards, I'm really big on House of Cards, and I think House of Cards, the next and final season, starts this Friday. I'm looking forward to that. That's because... Uh, um, what's his name? What's his name? The star um, was fired for... Uh, many uh, accusations of sexual abuse of young men, so... Uh, yes, Kevin Spacey, Kevin Spacey. And I saw, um, I saw Robin Wright on, um, on, interviewed on one of the late night shows. She was delightful. What a smart and funny woman. I mean, not that women can't be smart and funny, but she was just delightful. And she was talking about the series and saying they wanted to... They talked about whether they should keep going or not, and they had one more season to do anyways, and the arc sort of called for her character to be the star, as opposed to his. So that's okay. And she said if we didn't do the series, we would have put 2,500 people out of work. So, Jesus. So... So, that's uh, season, final season starts this Friday, so catch up. It's good. It's really good. And it's kind of hard to do a satire on American uh, politics now because it's, it is a satire. You know what I mean? No. like we have here in Ontario. In Ontario, we've got a conservative leaning, although they don't have... Well, yeah, he is conservative. So they have a conser we have a conservative premier, 
and he's teaming up with the conservative uh, leader of the opposition for the federal government and they are both when they're talking they're both talking about the fake news and how the media is an enemy and stuff like this which is really upsetting because you know that's been happening in the in, in the u.s and that's what results in uh, people throwing things at reporters in the media pool and you know yeah house of cards on fire so I'm really upset that the politicians up here are starting to do this fake news media is our enemy thing because they see it's effective you polarize the electorate then people will come to you so have to think about how I can support stuff and I'll think about getting gas come to think of it because I'm possibly low I don't have Reed and and uh, Kathleen watching me so one fourteen euros that's not bad Welcome all. It's um, Halloween here in Canada. I'm driving my pumpkin truck. It's decorated inside with a skull and with a bobblehead pumpkin over there. And then, of course, a little tiny Christmas tree and a big Christmas tree. So we've got a sort of a mixed message going on here. But yeah, I'm going to do uh, mixed themes. I did a theme, um, my uh, starting soon thing was a, a clip I found on YouTube of spooky spooky sights and sounds. That was kind of cool. So the next thing, uh, Steph was suggesting, the next thing is Black Friday here in North America. So I could probably do images of choppers running amok. That's what it is. It's Thanksgiving, and we've had Thanksgiving already here in Canada. So you have Thanksgiving, and then as part of that, you have. Uh, so I suppose I could do Thanksgiving themed. I didn't do Thanksgiving themed for Canadian Thanksgiving, which is the same, I think, as the British one. I think uh, U.S. is the only one that has Thanksgiving later on. But anyways, I could do. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, if you use Streamlabs OBS, so also called Slobs, it's easier to do um, various themes than that, but I think you're limited in some of the things you can do, but um, I'll have to try that. I might be... I might be just fine like this. Oh, and I was going to look for a um, different version of this, the bottom right corner, the uh, root manager. There are versions that uh, are just along the top of the screen. Much less obtrusive. Now oh, actually this is, this has the advantage, although it's a, whoops. 
although it's a really long trip, it has the advantage of being, um, I think, of being a tour through the newly done portion. Oh, and actually, yeah, we've got a ferry boat ride, so it's maybe not 700 hours, 15 hours, or 700k. No, it'll count, but... And when we get up here, we'll go to... Where are we going? Copenhagen. And we'll do um, uh, see what's available from you know Copenhagen. Oh, okay. Can't find any jobs because we're not there. But we'll see what there is. Copenhagen going back into Germany, and then we'll do Germany to France, Switzerland. See, we've got to do. Then we do Germany to Sweden. So that can we do. That'll be f six. We only have to do four more. So we can do like France, Switzerland, Italy, and Sweden, Denmark. Yeah. We can even go to Britain. So it shouldn't be too hard to fill those up. Um, so I've been using uh, KG. I've been using um, Streamlabs Studio. And, sorry, I've been using OBS Studio and the separate Streamlabs website. And I'm considering, um, I'm considering blending them two together and using slobs, but I don't know. Me trying to turn the lights down. Let's use the um, cruise control. Which one is that? This one? This one. Cruise control. 50, 55. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, the difference. So, welcome to my stream. It's the Halloween stream, as you can tell by the wig. It's my Rainbow Ross, my tribute to Bob Ross and Halloween all at the same time. So, I got a brown wig too at the same time, but it's, uh, I don't think it's going to back home to be like a Bob Ross thing, so, oh well. It was like $3. Let's get in. So that's, well, I want to be excited to show you. So this is the driving north in Germany. They've changed the countryside, they made it more scenic, and they've also changed some of the highways and the interchanges. They've just Pimped it up, you know. Doc Brown for your son's Marty McFly. Ah, oh, good for you. <laughs> I I used to have a. I've had a beard, a beard and or mustache for decades. And one New Year's, um, I guess I just had a mustache at the time. I decided to, New Year's Day, I got up and shaved it off. And my wife at the time, her comment was, so how long is that going to take to grow back in? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. 
phone is beeping at me here. feedback I got from my girlfriend is that uh, I don't sleep on my back often because it bothers my back. I'm better on my side. But her feedback is she's noticed when I sleep on my back, sometimes I s stop breathing and then <laughs> like this. Now, she's deaf in one ear so and uses earplug so she doesn't hear me snoring or noise and to wake her up in the other ear so and the story she told about the symptoms and how I woke up varied from time to time but I don't know but I checked with my son he had um, he was tested tested for sleep apnea and they said he does sometimes stop breathing but not enough to worry about so I may have it Um, some people on my stepsister's side have it, but then if that's a stepsister, so we're not genetically matched. Well, no, my half sister I think has sleep apnea, and we are, you know, my sister by another father, sort of thing. Oh, so they put you on the CPAP on the machine, so okay. I guess the problem with it is um, it's not as if you're going to die from not breathing. But I think the problem is is that you have oxy oxygen deprivation and it, it can cause other problems, I guess. Anyways, folks, welcome to my stream. It's Halloween. It's the no, this is not my normal hair. Thanks for viewing. Lurking Lurkers are welcome. If you want to chat, that's good. Or follow, even better. You can also subscribe with your Amazon Prime if you want. And get a little... Get a big thank you. And you get a little logo. Looks like a raven. And, um, and I'll send you an e-copy of one of my books. You can also through, throw bits in the jar, and you can earn bits, I discovered, by watching on some channels. You can watch ads. Where it says, get bits. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it, you can only do it once, so I'm not sure what how they do it, really, so... <laughs> she finds the machine soothing. That's cute. <laughs> what we got here? My girlfriend has one of those white noise machines that actually has um, various kinds of animals and stuff. And there's one that has a pond with frogs. So I find it quite nice. Various, you know, various noises, and I so I sort of miss it when I come back here. I don't have the frogs to go to sleep to anymore. It's just like living next to a pond. You open the window, and there's no bugs coming in. You can. So yeah, we're going north, north in Germany. Uh, supposedly the upgraded part of the map. We're gonna drive till 11.30. It's 11.17 now, so. Okay. 
Because when I was away, I got used to going to bed at midnight, getting up at nine, sort of thing, or eight. So. Yeah, well, I think my sister has a machine she travels with. The one that has apnea, and I know um, her cousin had it. So a bunch of people on, a bunch of people on her side of the family. Uh, but she's that that sister, that half sister, is only related to me through my mother. So like, I'm not going to get any of her genes. And on my mother's side, I don't think they had any, but, you know, they didn't used to test for that in the old days. People would just snort a lot, and, and if they had apnea, I don't know. Hey, MCZ, MCB, it's going well. It's, um, as you may have noticed, it's Halloween here. <laughs> Back from Toronto, and I'm doing a bunch of, um, the, uh, World of Trucks ETS jobs in my Halloween truck, right? And it's a train crossing. Is there a train? No. We're heading north through Germany, so of course it gets more. This is the this is the reason they wanted you to do this. I'm on. I have a trouble finding jobs that are just over 300 kilometers, though. I think they've stacked the deck. Anyways, we're going up here and then Rostock to there and to there. So we'll get something. This is job number. Two, three, four. Job number five. So after. I don't think I'm going to finish this one anyways tonight. It's uh, 11.20. I'm going to go to 11.30. But um, it's good to be back in a way. I'm doing my, uh, you know, doing more trucking. Playing with the control, that's better. I um, have to do some chores and stuff this week. And I believe Saturday and Sunday, I assume there, I haven't looked. I assume there's a uh, con... <laughs> There's a convoy Saturday and Sunday for lazy truckers. So if there is, I'll put the information up on my uh, Discord tomorrow. Okay, yeah, no no problem. Just just uh thanks for dropping in to say hi. I'm only going another ten minutes, then I'm out of here. Two convoys, excellent. And as I said, what I'm gonna do is um now, if I post a link to the convoy, can non-members still see the information on the convoy? On lazy truckers? Because I'd like to post a link to the convoy information on lazy truckers on my stream so that while I'm streaming if people want to pop in and see where we're going they can at least do that okay I'll do that then Ah, Temerarus, thanks for you very much for the for the follow. Appreciate that. So 
Hopefully you enjoy uh, my driving. I do uh, afternoons and evenings, Eastern Time, so it's right now it's 11.22 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And I do ATS and ETS, and I do mostly heavy haul and long haul. On the ETS, I've added on the, the Brazil map, but on ATS, I've got, well, I've got Oregon and, and Mexico. Not a lot of truck mods, you know. I prefer just to explore, and I'm often up here like this. On the roof cam, if there's good scenery to see, either in the town or in the countryside. <laughs> well, um, hopefully I can help you get, help you get to sleep, because I've been told that I'm helpful for either falling asleep or doing homework. Uh, the wig is uh, for Halloween because I have been compared to Bob Ross, the painting star, this happy little tree. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Steph, are you back, Steph? I wanted to ask you when you said you're going to pop down for, to get your lunch. I wondered what that meant. Are you working from home? Are you going to pop down in the kitchen and make your lunch? Or are you in an office? Are you going to pop out to the street and get a hot dog from a vendor? Or... Where where do you pop down for your lunch? Uber Eats. Oh, I've never tried Uber Eats. Yeah, I hear the cool kids do it, so. Oh, Tamaris, yes. <laughs> ah, yes, well, I'm in uh, Temer, Temer, I'll call you Temer. I'm, uh, yes, I'm doing the, the uh, ETS World Attracts Germany challenge, so I'm having to go uh, back and forth and back and forth in and out of Germany. But this one actually is not bad, because this trip is, well, where they want you to go. They've done work on the northern part of Germany here. So, they want you to check this out. Um, they've added more, I think they spoofed up some of the towns, then they've added more interchanges and stuff, and more four-lane highways, as opposed to this one that we're on, but, you know, the intent is there. More shrubbery, so... Yeah, so I mean, this supposedly there's like nine, there's ten hours left on this trip, but I'm going to see after. We got a ferry ride, too. So, could be a lot less. We're 24 in Germany. Yeah, it's 11. Okay, so you're five hours different in Germany. Yeah. Steph is on here. She's, um,. 14 hours, I think. So, 
It's hard to pick a time when we can pick all the time zones. But um, I, by doing it in the afternoon here, like which is four o'clock. Oops, let's go here where it says to turn. Luckily, there's no traffic. By doing it in the afternoon here, um, you know, if you're five hours difference or even four hours to Great Britain or whatever, if I do it in the afternoon here, then that's maybe four o'clock in Germany. So that's good. Then if I do something at nine o'clock at night, then that's that's one o'clock there, a little late, but it's okay for uh, Western uh, Canada. You know, nine o'clock here is maybe six o'clock on the West Coast, so that's cool. And Asia and and uh, Australia is completely different. Oh yeah, the first one's around your 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm doing too. That's why I'm doing too, actually. I'm trying to catch two different time zones, sort of. Um, and it'll be a little easier to do two a day because before, you know, if I was doing one late in the afternoon, I kind of feel bad because it'd often be if it was a nice day. I should I should be out sitting on a patio. You know, sucking back a beer or sipping a coffee, and but with winter, it's like, oh well, days getting shorter, it's getting dark fast, so I also want to tr show off the um, just a sec. I have uh, some new log trailers, um, a mod done by, and it's a um, log trailer with a pup trailer behind, so a nice log thing, and it's done by uh, Custom Aussie Mods. I want to try those in um, Oregon. We almost at the um No, we're sort of at the uh sort of at the ferry boat, right? And the five minutes we'll be at the ferry. I just want to get to the other side, I think, and see how much time I really have left on left on this trip. I don't think I'm gonna finish this one tonight, but I'd like to have a better idea. Because I forget how long the ferry boat ride was. Osfort. Wind turbines in the distance. A nice sun rays there as we were on the corner. fast again. Maybe we'll get a ticket. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. Um, I'll pick it up. I think I want to finish these, because uh, I'm not sure how long we're going to keep this open. So I think I'm going to finish these. I'll try to, unless I get tired of it and go back to ATS. Yeah, I might uh, finish it up. What's tomorrow? Thursday. Oh, tall by Thursday. I've been to my local for a week, so I gotta go to my local and chat up, chat up my friends. So. But 
yeah. Yeah, I will tomorrow. So, welcome to my stream. Thank you for uh, viewing. Thanks for chatting, or you can just lurk if you're a follower. Thanks for following. Check in the mirror there. We're good. Uh, Halloween, so I have my Halloween wig on, my frizzy wig, to uh, as a tribute to Bob Ross. He of the frizzy hair and the laid back, quiet stream. Yee, Steph. Thank you, Steph. There's bits in the jar. <laughs> lots of bits. Lots of bits. It cheered a total of 2100 bits. Thank you. Thank you, Steph. Rostock. So, is this where the hell's the ferry boat? Oh, it's north of here. Okay. I'm looking forward to doing some more convoys on the weekend, too. I like those. And there's a good group with the Lacey Truckers. They're fun. A fun group. I'm going to put a link on my stream so that anybody on my stream who wants to join us can find the link and find out where we are. You sort of follow around and, oh, okay, you're going through, you know, Phoenix. Okay, we'll join you. You know, we'll join you on the other side of Phoenix at the rest stop or something. So. <laughs> Rainbow. Oh, they, they sort of are. Rainbow pride flag, pride flag bits. That's cool. It goes with my hat, my rainbow pride hat, eh? <laughs> like I said, my girlfriend and her friend were um, whoop, touring in the gay village area tonight with her, with her in Toronto with her, with her gay brother, and uh, checking out all the really amazing costume so I remember years ago my whoop my daughter was at the gay pride here she was a te in her late teens she was at the gay pride here in Ottawa and I'd always been a supporter and uh, I was down there, and she was, um, she wasn't marching in it, but a bunch, some of her friends were. So she introduced me to some of her, some of the women that were marching in the gay, gay pride parade. And uh, they were topless with paint, decorative paint on their, on their boobs. And I was maintaining eye contact I'm not looking at your boobs as a pride and I shouldn't and you're my daughter's friend and you're only 17 <laughs> so <laughs> I like these little countdowns they have on the road. Three, two, one. Oh, the ramp. Okay. Oh, and somebody you're broken down here. Why are you broken down here? And should we change? take the ramp? I think so. We don't have much choice there. Oh, I think we're near the port. I can see cranes over there. That's kind of interesting. They're like, uh, 
Like dinosaurs. Get up on the roof here. Oops. Wrong button. Watch when we come around here and we see the port. You're going to see all these things up in the air that look like dinosaurs. Um... No, the speed limits aren't, um... No. Oops, I didn't look to see if there's cars coming. They don't do that on the, in Germany, and they should, really. You can disable speed control, and you can go really fast if you want, but you're still going to get tickets. So there's no uh, autobahns where it's... Uh, maybe they should add that to you, right? Good idea. They should add a, ch a portion of the autobahn where there's no limit. And you can just run amok. I'll be w they're probably worried that they get too many crashes if they do that. Uh, okay, now there's different formats and different maps. Uh... Oh, I can see the little greeny thing there. So that's what we want. Where are we going? Let me see where we're going. Make sure there's only one place to go on the map. Because sometimes you're given a choice. It's like, shit, I don't know. Uh, we're going to uh, Trelborg. Trelborg? Yes. Ooh, good thing we checked for that one. Doo -doo. <laughs> Chaos mode, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, an RT game would be, uh... So what do I got here? I got, uh, an hour and a half to get there. I guess I may as well finish it. When do I have to be there? Let me check when I have to be there. Oh, I got 21 hours left. So let's do that. Let's G set time. Six is going to be pretty bright, bright, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, so an hour and a half left. So let's finish this job and we'll see what's going to be for the next one. The next one's going to be, um, well, we can't go from here. Back to Germany, that's right. Right, we don't want to do that. There, play with the map, get it right. So we're going to have to go from somewhere else back to Germany. So we're in... Because um, Germany, you know, Germany to Sweden or wherever we are. We can't go Germany to Sweden to Sweden to Germany because that just counts as one country. We need ten countries. So Germany to Sweden and then hop over to Norway or something. Yeah, Denmark. I'll pop over to Denmark. And I'll do, yeah, I'll do a go-to. Land of the Vikings. Speaking of Vikings, Steph, I got my, um, I did the Ancestry.com DNA thing where you spit in a, spit in a tube and they, uh, they act, they analyze it for your, oops. Almost missed the turn. They analyze it for your DNA. And I got my results back, and I have 4% Norse blood. I thought I had French, English, Scottish, 
surprised. Well, I got 4%. Did you have any surprises? Because I got 4% Norse blood. I have no idea where that came in. So now what I'm doing is I'm looking. They, they, they tell you who's a good match for DNA. So then you look at those people and you see if they had more Scandinavian, like for my case, if they had more Scandinavian than I have, then that's probably where I got my Norse from. So I'm still tracking that down. <laughs> Did you get yours back? Did you get yours back, Steph? Or... Ah, how Irish. I have 55%. <laughs> well, you know, so people people stuck around in the... <laughs> people snuck around in the night. <laughs> Interesting. Have you put your family tree online and started to track people down? Because I've got a family tree on there that goes back. On one side, it goes back to the 1700s in France, so. I have lots of people, lots of people to uh, link up with. Yes, yes, I know. That's what it's the fun the fun thing. You link up to somebody who's got a tree way back where it's like, holy shit, this is cool. Well, what they do though is they do little flags where they think you probably link to I got the world option just for now, just to start with. So they link up to databases like the you know, the census birth you know, the birth registry, death registry, um the the when you know people immigrated and they came in on the ships and they were you know registered at the docks and stuff like that so all oh this is kind of cool look at this we're going through a tunnel under the water so when you link on that stuff then you can actually find the links and you can find that you know oop, there's a plane so you can find if that ancestor of yours actually did live in that place. And often the census is handwritten, so I've gone in. <coughs> I had one ancestor, what was it? Well, I think it was Taylor, and they'd written it down as Douglas, so I corrected that. No, it's a typo, because it was just smeary handwriting, so it's kind of fun. I know, I know, it's a cool tunnel. So it's fun. It's fun on this to go through the. Uh, it's fun to actually go through the records, and they're often handwritten of births and deaths, and somebody you know you can see. Okay, so oh, he lived here, and he lived here with his three brothers at you know three eighty nine uh, you know Connor Street or something like this, and and his his father's occupation was a cooper or something. And cool. And I, that's those are facts. So that it's nice to tie that down. My grandfather. My grandfather was uh, born a year earlier than everybody thought. Okay. Yeah, all oh, the old records are cool. And and just think, I mean, somebody went, you know, door to door and in a little country, you know, through the, you know, through the farms and stuff like that and sat down and said, okay, so who lives here and wrote everything down. Oh, 
yeah, there's people that do that too. There's people that go, um, there's people, well, there's, there's databases of graveyards you can find, uh, and I think not just on Ancestry, but there's other sources too. And what people do, like if you've got, if you've got an old graveyard in your neighborhood, you don't even have to necessarily, you know, have red searches buried there. You go through that, you know, somebody will go through an old neighborhood in their neighbor, an old graveyard in the neighborhood, and they'll document all the gravestones there and stick them online. And then somebody else is like, oh, shit, look, there's, that's where he's buried. Oh, take a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But taking a picture would be cool, too. Yeah. Good point. Good point. I don't have pictures of my grandparents and gravestones back home, but I suppose I could. You know, I may go back for a visit. Okay, so once, uh, oh yeah, 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 I got good information, I have to find where I got, I think I have it printed out, it's here somewhere, but, um, I finally found, uh, I never really, I never knew my father, Is my mother d divorced him when she was like eight and a half months pregnant. But uh, he died, you know, in the 60s probably. But I, f I got the uh, death notice out of a newspaper, and it listed him. But it listed also uh, siblings who were there. You know, survived by so-and-so of, you know, Sarnia. So, you know, ah, okay, so in that year, you know, this person was related and lived in Sarnia. So, like you say, it just adds a little piece to the puzzle. But then maybe you can, you know, look in the look in the phone book for Sarnia and find this person still there. Or where were they, you know, five years later? Okay, here we are, delivering our world of trucks. Enter. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm hurry and skip. Okay, continue. Okay, so we're gonna have to go to. We're gonna do a go to because we don't want to get a cargo go from here. Going back to Germany because that doesn't count for World of Trucks challenge. So we'll do a go-to uh, after. It's uh, it's almost midnight, so I got a half crash. I'm gonna go to bed now. But um, thank you very much for uh, viewing. Uh, thanks for the bits, uh, Steph. I'll retire my wig uh, for another day. Maybe I'll wear it next time we go to see my grandson and uh, or my granddaughter. Scare her. Anyways, uh, night all. Thanks for viewing. Uh, thanks for following. Um, you know, just thanks for chatting. It's a slice. It's been a slice. So hopefully, I've had everybody uh, helped you uh, calm down and get to sleep. Or Steph, in your case, I've helped distract you from having to work. And we'll uh, we'll be on tomorrow. Um, late afternoon, I think, uh, and it's midnight my time now, so late afternoon and evening, I think. Yeah, yeah, 
I get a visit to my pub in between that. So, ta-ta. Take care.